What's going on? It's my life in the shot. I'm your host, Donald Washington. Chicago police released that of the homicide suspect July 1st, a young lady, 24-year-old Jennifer Madrano on the 2200 block of South Wentworth Avenue. I'm going to bring you guys that. Of course, I'm going to bring you guys what the Chicago police are releasing and what they're saying also. Taste of Chicago 2022. I'm going to bring you guys the lines that are out there. Wow. All right, so far. This was one of the lines just to get in. Mind you, it's super hot outside. And they don't want it to up. This is a direct result of all the people getting shot downtown Chicago and all the violence and the kids just running rapid. But also, to their defense, it's been a lot of mass shootings. So they like, hey, we don't want that in the taste of Chicago. But outside, eh. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to bring you guys that. Also, MyLifeInTheShot.com. It's up. It's running. I'm going to bring you guys all the latest videos, all the latest stories. Go to MyLifeInTheShot.com. Um, check it out. I'm going to also bring you guys several victims. Um, a lot of times people do say, hey, man, I appreciate you. You know, bringing light, bringing faces um, to the numbers. Because so many times do we see just numbers. And people ask me, hey man, does it get to you? And yeah, it gets to me all the time. I want to bring you guys the faces of these children. 15, 20, 28 years old. Um, 15, 19 years old. These are people. The numbers y'all see on the news... These are real people. They're going to say, 10.52 p.m., July 1st. Story's going to read, 24-year-old woman, two others wounded. Suspected exchange of gunfire in Chinatown. Now, there was a 38-year-old that was also hit. In the buttocks. He is in custody. He's in critical. All right, but it's June, July 10th. I'm not sure of his conditions now. Another 42-year-old was shot in the hand. She, unfortunately, Jennifer Medrano, did not make it. This is the issue. Here it is. We take this to Chinatown. And here it is. This innocent girl gets hit. This is what happens when you turn the other cheek. When you turn a blind eye, when you let crime run rapid in your community, before long it comes knocking at the innocent's door. Like it did. And innocent people that did not deserve nothing from this madness outside of in, in our communities, and it just comes spilling over to everybody else's community. But yet, we want to wait, Mayor, Mayor, come help us. President, you need to come visit us. Come help us. Let's have a march and, and say, hey, outside our community, by the way, we're having marches or stop traffic. So people that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. And in our communities, it ain't not one extra neighborhood watch in Inglewood. Not even one. Not one extra camera. Nothing. So everybody else is like, hey, y'all need to do something. We doing something in our community. Because when I go to my cousin community, oh, they step up. By the time I pull in the driveway, his neighbors is already like, okay, license plate, bloop, 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 description, bloop, bloop, bloop. Something happened, buddy, you'll be locked. And I know, ha, I'm not even jaywalking, homeboy. You ain't got to worry about me. Taste of Chicago. Look at this. <laughs> This is from the Chi Town Crime Chasers. This is his page. He posted. Columbus, what's this? That's how far the line goes, y'all. Y'all sure y'all want to go to the taste? <laughs> Look how crazy this line is. This is a line, y'all. Uh, yeah, we're trying to figure that out now. Look how crazy the line is. And this, this is just for bag check, y'all. No, I'm not. Yeah, this That's is bag check. Y'all sure y'all want to go? So I got a feeling this is probably one of the things. 
Yes, yes Michelle, these are people all waiting. I'm going to show y'all the back of the line. So this is the new norm from now on, probably. Because of all the mass shootings, you know the rest. Um, so MyLifeInTheShot.com, it is up and running. It is ready. Um, so far, what I got on the page is I'm going to bring you guys all the videos from all the incidents that go on in Chicago, or at least a lot of them. Um, all my videos will also be on there. Also, um, I'm going to bring you guys a You can see video. over here. Everything I do, uh, restaurant reviews, places I go to, places I visit, reviews, um, museums, some of everything. This is just going to be blogs about things that's just going on in the city, videos. It's going to be extra videos from just places and stuff. Um, in All right. the area, in the whole entire state, just different places. So, I'm going to try to bring you guys everything I can, events. One of the things, one of the biggest things I want is events that's going on. And there's a ton of events going on that nobody could find. So, I'm also going to bring all the latest and greatest events to the page. So, make sure y'all go to the uh, link, mylifeintheshot.com. It's up and ready. Let's get to the victims of. And one of the reasons why I want to bring you the faces. One of the reasons why I want to bring you the faces. I watched a live from somebody, a grown lady. Grown lady. I forget the neighborhood, but I think it was Inglewood. She was out there on the homicide. And the detective, well, she was telling a story about a detective. Said, hey, she was just telling them she saw it all. She was explaining to somebody she saw it all. And she was just saying, oh yeah, detective walked with me. I told him I ain't see anything. We can't be surprised when it just hits an innocent. I just did a story yesterday, innocent lady. Eight kids walking into a house. Boom! Straight bullet hit her in the head. Her neighbors told the police nothing. Unsolved. All unsolved. They can't even solve 10% of the crime. Granted, 80% of them are on video. 19-year-old Carl Boone, 5300 block of South Hamilton, back of the yards, neighborhood. Bobby Jones, 28, 1200 block, North Milwaukee. Nova Square, July 7th. Um, Caesar Shears, Jr., 20 years old, 8400 block of South Colfax, South Chicago, July 5th. Um, 15 year old Anthony Mendoza, 6600 block of Northwestern, 19 year old Giovanni Flores, this is all within a week y'all, East Garfield Park, July 6th, actually within four days, actually within, so somebody on my timeline posted, oh, how come the Highland Park uh, shootings are getting more coverage than Chicago? Chicago had more this weekend, 4th of July weekend. And I'm like, yo, that's every week in Chicago. We have more than seven homicides. Come on, man. We cannot pull the race card. They were saying, oh, the Highland Park are getting more because the way they look. And I'm like, yo, we cannot. One of the reasons I started this channel because I saw the wrong message going out. I had to jump over here and give my own story. Look. We cannot keep pulling the race car for absolutely everything. When it's needed, cool. But if we pull it for absolutely everything, it's like, okay, again? Now what? Here we go. I was trapped in stepping in for what? Wait a minute. How is... So, mass shootings are dominating the headlines. Every mass shooting is going to dominate. Even the BBC, the world news, everywhere. I just saw something in Africa There's a mass shooting. It's dominating the world network. That's what it is. Um, come on, man. Nobody's coming to save us. That they is us. How come somebody else outside our community should have to come inside our community and change it if we're not willing to change it ourselves? Lightfoot even said, hey, I pay y'all 450 per household. You can go get a refurbished. You can get four of them. You get one on the front side of your house and the back. And when something happens, we can get it to the police and get that person caught within minutes. I did a story of somebody, the neighborhood did that. Somebody had a random shooting down the street. They had to do within 45 minutes flat. 
They caught dude on the highway because they took that footage to the police. They had his license plate. They had his description. Everything caught. But we are waiting on the governor to come change that. We think maybe, hey, we can vote our way out. And maybe this governor, mayor, will come help us, save us somehow. Form a miracle. We don't have to do anything. We won't have to help ourselves. The governor should do that. I'm going I'm to let y'all in a little secret. Nobody outside our community is responsible, or should be. People inside the community should change it, change themselves. Anyway, this is my- How long are you going to cry and blame your oppressor before you get up off your knees and do it your goddamn self? No. Yes, say it again. How long are you going to cry and blame your oppressor before you get up off your knees and do it your damn self? Anyway, make sure you guys like, comment, let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.